Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a create a sim, and this isn't a normal create a sim like I've done in the past. It's actually a whole family, and this is something that's been requested quite a bit. You guys are like, Brittany, I love you create a sims. It'd be super awesome if you made more of them, and even if you made them into a family. So I was like, you know what? I wanna make a family. I was in the mood. I had gotten some new custom content, so I was like, you know what, let's let's do this. So this first sim here, her name is Nia Matthews, and she is flirty, has a good sense of humor, she's a social butterfly, she's hot-headed and a natural cook, and she actually has the lifetime wish to become a celebrated five-star chef. But she has a little bit of edge to her, she's a little sassy, and uh, she definitely, you know, just stands up for herself and probably is the one that wears the pants in the family, to be quite honest. Uh, but yeah, so her and her husband, Jasper, are like recently newlyweds-ish, and then they also have a little daughter. So, and the daughter, the sim that I made for them is actually like a mixture of their genetics, which you guys will see later on, but she's like actually... A product of them. I didn't just like randomly make a toddler sim for you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's Nia, and I think she's really cute. She's super gorgeous, and I'm just really excited because I feel like with family creative sims, you guys can go take this family and actually like go out and like live their lives. And it's so much more different than starting out with just one sim and then having them try to meet someone and all that stuff. Like this family's kind of already established a bit. And I don't know, I just like really love the idea of you guys continuing their story. So hopefully you guys will like let me know, keep me updated. I would love to see like what you guys do with them. I think it'd be super awesome. Uh, but yeah, so also I do have custom content lists down below. I each, each sim has their own notepad of the list of custom content that I use on them. I do have some new sliders that I normally was using and that's about it. And then I have just, you know, all their hairs, their makeup, uh, everything is listed down below. If the sim sh like shows up in your game missing the skin or whatnot, you guys can download those CC lists and find out what they're missing and put them on back onto the sims and everything. So hopefully you guys are liking that. For every create a sim that I'm doing now, I always try to add a CC list so that you guys can go and easily find the custom content that I included with them. Uh, even if like the sim shows up and the custom content didn't follow along, then you guys can go easily find it. So hopefully you guys have been liking that. No one's like complained about it yet. So I'm guessing it's like all good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Cause I'm not, I, I think it helps. I personally think it would help. And yeah. Anyway, so soon we'll be seeing Nia's uh, outfits, and they're really cute. Like, oh, I had so much fun with this. As you guys know, with my creative sims, I always try to like mix up the styles and uh, just kind of like just mix everything up. I don't like to make the same sims over and over with the exact same style over and over. Uh, so I try to give each sim like their own personality and whatnot, uh, which I don't know. That's always fun for me, to be quite honest. But this is her everyday wear here, very casual, very cute. I love it. This is her formal wear, and like, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to use this outfit for the longest time. And then this is her sleepwear, super casual, of course, like, you're going to bed. Her workout wear, which I love, by the way, like that ponytail looks so cute on her. Uh, swimwear, very simple, and that's like all base game stuff, so you guys are set on that. And then also uh, outerwear. Next we have Jasper, her husband, and he is a loner, socially awkward, vegetarian, avant-garde, and a hopeless romantic. So he's really different than Nia. They're actually almost like complete opposites. He doesn't really like having like big parties and he's not really into, you know, partying it up and socializing so much, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so he's very much like the opposite of his wife, but yet somehow they just work together perfectly and it just makes sense for them, I guess. Uh, but he's like very edgy. He's probably like the edgiest guy I think I've made for The Sims, and I'm really digging it. Like his style is really awesome, and we're like really cool. Like I feel like too like uncool to be making a sim like that, but <laughs> he turned out like looking really awesome, and uh, he has some piercings, and he dyes his hair. Like he's a lot of fun. Uh, so he's like a little artsy, a little like, awkward and he kind of prefers to be by himself but the one thing he really does love is his family and his wife he's very much a hopeless romantic like i said and he loves doing romantic things for her 
and going on really fancy nice dates and all like that cute stuff. He's really into like mushy love stories and just like super like mushy love stuff, which I'm totally like not into. So I just think it's funny like making a sim like that. I don't know, it's just weird. And then also for his lifetime wish, he actually wants to be street credible. So he wants to go and like spray paint and reach level 10 of the street art skill and then also create seven masterpiece murals. So he's, you know, a little, a little edgy in that sense. But right now, as you guys can see, he's basically coming together for the most part, his face stays like that. And I was torn between giving him black hair and then also having him dye his hair. So he's naturally, he naturally has dark black hair, but he dyes his hair like blonde-ish, like a dirty blonde color, which you guys will see uh, in a bit when we go through his outfits, I think. Uh, Cause I don't change it until like off camera when I was like, oh wait, I wanted to change his hair. So yeah, um, but this is a lot of the custom content I used on him is some of the stuff that I got from my recent CC shopping video. Uh, all that male clothing stuff that we found, that's like what I used on him. I was so excited to have new clothes for my guy sims cause they totally needed it. Uh, here I'm trying to figure out like what piercings. I wanted to give him quite a few, but I ended up just giving him like a little nose ring. That's it. Uh, but I wanted to give him a lot more. Maybe you guys can go in and give him more if you want. Um, and then he does have tattoos, which are listed in the... Wait, does he keep the tattoos? Yeah, he does keep the tattoos. Uh, for a second, I was like, wait, do I get rid of them or not? Um, but those tattoos are, of course, linked in the CC list uh, notepad down below that you guys can download. Here's his everyday wear with his new hair. This is his formal wear, which I thought was like a lot of fun. Uh, it's really like indie, edgy. Uh, Sleepwear, which, you know, is just casual, of course. Uh, his workout wear, which kind of matches his wife's, which is cute, so they can work out together. And this is his swimsuit. And then his outerwear, which I actually really love. Like that hoodie, I recolored it and like I'm in love with it. I really am. Uh, and then lastly, here is their daughter, Serena Matthews. She is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. I did combine like their genetics and everything. And so she's like actually their daughter. But here's her outfits and all that good stuff. But yeah, anyways, make sure to download them down below. I'd love to see what you guys do with their lives. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys. Thank you.